Firstly, uh, thank you to the organizers for inviting me. Secondly, like the sisters said, um, inclusion is a big part of what we do in um, education. And I think this is a, a good step forward that we're doing it and speaking about in our communities as well, inshallah. There's, um, there's, there's many people with disabilities, there's many children in schools with disabilities, and we tried to make them included. Our prophet was a mercy to mankind, to every single person. And if we can do anything to make every single person included in our communities, then we should be doing it for sure. Inshallah, I'll be reciting two poems for you today. The first one is a biography of Imam al Riva, alayhi salam. And the second one is a shorter one, and inshallah, I need your help with it. Sallu ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Ar-Ridha loved poetry and would often listen to Di'bil, whose words would make the Imam laugh and cry and feel. So today I will be a poet for you and tell you about Imam ar-Ridha, for the ones who discussed the Ahlul Bayt will be saved from the Naam. His father was Qadimin al-Ghaytha, for nothing angered him, even though he was oppressed he still remained Qadim. His mother had many names, including Tuktum and Arwa. Some even called her Najma, for she shone brightly like a star. When his parents named him after Mawla and his sister after Zahra, the aim was very clear, that despite every tyrant's wish, these names would never disappear. So if you have a child, call them Ali if they are a boy. So we'll have a million haters, We'll have a million haters who'll fill our Mahdi with joy. And if you have a child, name her Fatima if she's a girl. So we'll have a million Zahras in every corner of this world. Talking about Imam's sister, her name was Fatima II. She went where she was needed and the land of Qum beckoned. Like Nabi said about Zahra, al Kazim said about Ma'asuma, May your father be sacrificed for you, Fidaha Abuha. She narrated many ahadith, including the story of Ghadir. Her understanding is deni undeniable. Her knowledge is crystal clear. As they were growing up, the father was in jail so often that even though he wasn't there, his teachings weren't forgotten. This meant that al Ridha became a lantern for every single Shia. He had to guide them out of darkness without a single shred of fear. Banu Abbas ruled with such an iron fist, his followers did taqiyya. Yet al ridas intellect was so sharp, it's no wonder he's revered. At all this time, behind closed doors, their tyranny had embedded. Harun would take the lovers of Ali and have each one beheaded. So Imam kept a low profile in Medina and gave sermon after sermon, and answered questions from every visitor in Arabic, in Hindi, and even in German. Harun thought by killing the seventh Imam that Bab al Hawaj was no more. Yet Al Qadim lives through Al Ridha, who will forever be the door. Those who had collected humps for Al Qadim now just wanted to make a profit. They didn't care about Ridha's Imamat, only about lining their own pockets. Mahmud made Imam crown prince. It seemed a sincere proposal, but he was keeping his friends close and his enemies much closer. So Imam left Medina, and for a while in Qum remained. The first Imam to do ten nights majalis for Imam al Hussein. When Rida arrived in Khorasan, Ma'mun welcomed him as his heir. Yet Imam turned him down, saying he'd never get a share. It wasn't Ma'mun to distribute. If Allah gave him this position, and if he appointed himself, then he did so without permission. When Ali ibn Musa refused again, Ma'mun threatened Imam's life, at which point he had to accept and face all the trials and strife. No wonder he was called al ridha the one who was always pleased, whether it was goodness or troubles he received. 
Mark Moon ensured on every coin Reza's face was marked. Yet Imam was worth so much more than every dirham in Hijaz. In Silsilatul Dhahab, the Hadith of the Golden Chain, Reza showed his direct link to God and made his right to Imam at plain. He explained that Kalima is a fortress and to enter there's a condition. If you don't have love of Ali, Allah will never give you permission. Imam had complete control over all of God's creations. Even the deer that was given reprieve returned right back to its station. Imam's word could be trusted. He'd guarantee, he'd guarantee every single thing. It's for this reason he was rightly named Zamin. Imam even had complete control over both insan and jinn. And when the scholars came to debate him, he would always win. The priest said Christ was greatest, for no one ever prayed more. Yet Imam asked who Jesus prayed to, if he himself was Lord. The rabbi said he only followed prophets who did miracles. Imam asked why he rejected Jesus then. The rabbi was left quizzical. Then came the atheist, trying to contain God to time and space. He couldn't believe in a God who didn't have a face. But Imam said that we believed because we couldn't see. It showed how great he was and how limited are we. Imam was surrounded by so many in the court that it's hard to comprehend that a stranger in strange lands is how this story ends. So whilst the stranger in strange lands is how this story ends, never worry Imam Ridha, in us you will always have a friend. This is the bit I need help with you, inshallah. So the, course is very, the chorus is very simple. It's Ali, Ali, Ali. And then after everything I say, Jawab is Ali, just once. Inshallah, you get the hang of it. Just one chorus before. Now remember, when his parents named him after Mawla, their aim was very clear, that despite every tyrant's wish, Ali's name would never disappear. Ali 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 Born in the Kaaba Ali Sadka in Salah Ali Loved by Ikhlas Ali Leader of Kufa Ali Living Quran Ali Breathing Quran Ali Walking Quran Ali Talking Quran Ali Talking Quran Ali 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 Sleeper in the bed Ali Fed the unfed Ali Stayed while they fled Ali Stayed while they fled Ali Leader not the lead Ali Zahra he wed Ali Struck on the head Fustu he said Fustu he said Ali 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 Gate to the city Gate to the city Victor of Sifim Leading Mu'mineen Siratul Mustaqim First to the Deen Hukuk Deen Hafizuddin Hafizuddin he is the Dean. He is the Dean. Ali 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 Never number four Ali Lion at war Ali Hader when he rose Ali Lifted the door Ali Gave to the poor Ali We will implore Ali We do adore Ali You can't ignore Ali You can't ignore Ali 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 Haydare Karar Ali Hazul Fikar Ali Abu Turab Ali Shere Khuda Ali Nukta Eba Ali 
Abul Abbas Ali, Abul Hasnain Ali, Shah Mashrakain Ali, Wanat Hunain Ali, Wanat Handak Ali, Wanat Haybar Ali, Wanat Jamal Ali, Wanat Badar Ali, Inakabar Ali, Inakabar Ali, Ali 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 Sallu Ala Muhammad Wa Ali Muhammad Thank you very much, um, Brother Muhammad Abbas Ja'far, for that beautiful recitation. Very touching words, mashallah. May Allah bless you, inshallah, may give you more tawfiq in this path, inshallah. Um, as we are honoring Imam al Rada alayhi salam, Imam al Rada alayhi salam was known as the stranger of Khurasan, and many people with a disability, as has been quoted by us, do feel like a stranger within our community. And I remember a sister which emailed me just before this conference. She said, I cannot bring my son with autism to the mosque because I feel like we will be shouted at, my son will be shouted at, we will have strange looks. I feel like a stranger within the community. And we must then begin to think, why are people with a disability feel foreign or as a stranger in the community? Um, do we understand the struggles that parents with a child with a disability, do we understand the struggles they go through? Are we accepting to those with an invisible disability, those that do not appear to have a disability, or do we just judge them when we see them and their behaviour?